Hello, everybody, and welcome back to another episode of Pointless Top 10, a show where we make top 10 lists out of pointless things. Why are we flying by this pointless statue in Booty Bay? Because inside pointless things are treasure. Let's begin. 10. Number 10 is the Serpent's Heart Bridge, and this is a bridge that I did not put in the Pointless Top 10 Bridges list, obviously. <laughs> but I remember a few weeks after making that video, I was flying by this bridge, and I was like, dude, are you kidding me? I forgot this bridge. This bridge is so cool. It's got big dragon heads with the big flaming cauldron things right below them. But I think my favorite thing about the bridge is how the dragon's body actually blends in with the bridge. You can see it like going along the sides of the bridge the entire way. I just thought that was really sick. In fact, you can even see right there his dragon claws are like gripping onto the sides of the pillar. I just think that's awesome. And this has absolutely nothing to do with the bridge, but the actual dragon has a little medallion on its chest and it looks like a face with a mustache. Look at it. You see it? Mustache face. Either way, that's why the Serpent's Heart Bridge is number 10. Number nine is Varjun, and Varjun is a jungle troll at Blood Hoof Village in Mulgore, and he was supposed to be in pointless top 10 pointless NPCs, and his entire purpose is to remind you as a priest to go and learn your first racial ability, which would be Touch of Weakness or Hex of Weakness. So I guess if you decided to make an undead priest and go to level in Mulgore, he would remind you like, hey, you gotta go back to the Undercity if you want to learn your priest racial. And that's pretty much it. So, I mean, he's not entirely pointless, but it's about as close as you can get. And if you try to talk to him and you're not a priest, he's just like, hey, I don't know who you are. I'm looking for somebody else. Because <laughs> if you think about what they would do in the modern game, they would just give you a pop-up or something that's like, hey, remember to go back to the Undercity and learn your racial. And you'd be like, oh yeah, I'm gonna go do that. You wouldn't need an entire NPC dedicated to doing that, but... There is a kind of charm in that, right? There's this role-play game feel to it, and even though he does feel pointless, I actually really like him a lot, which ties into the whole inside pointless things or treasure, and that's why Varjun is number nine. And number eight is this Argent Strand fireplace in Zul'Drak, which would have gone into pointless top 10 fireplaces, and I saw this and I was like, dude, this is such a cool, unique fireplace. How have I never seen this before? But then I had the thought of, is this actually a fireplace? Because... A fireplace is typically like a big framed structure that's containing the fire. It's got a chimney and everything. Uh, and I looked it up on the Merriam-Webster dictionary. It says a framed opening made in a chimney to hold an open fire. So I was like, oh, I don't think this would be. But then the second definition is an outdoor structure of brick, stone, or metal for an open fire. And so here we are. We've got ourselves an actual, by definition, fireplace. And what I love so much about this is that it has like one big log and then it has this purplish kind of fire, almost like a shadow flame. And it just feels very unique, like I said earlier. So there's not much more to say about it, but I like it a lot and I would have put it in pointless top 10 fireplaces. So that's why it's number eight. Seven. Number seven are Grungus and Bungus, who would have been in the pointless top 10 Yeti list. And I love the fact that there's really no meaning behind either Grungus or Bungus, but uh, they're just chilling out. And one is wearing a mining hat and just mining away at this frozen waterfall. And then Bungus is just carrying his bindle, waiting, I guess, for him to finish mining the waterfall. I have no idea. I really don't understand why they're here, what they're doing, but... They seem very dead set on accomplishing whatever mission it is they're going for. And I really couldn't find anything about why they're here, or what they're doing. Like maybe they're trying to carve out a home. That was the only logical theory I could come up with because they're carrying a bindle. So clearly the one doesn't have a home and then he's like mining away. So maybe they were like, hey, let's just make our own home in this cave waterfall or something. I don't know. I also realized these could be in pointless top 10 yetis or pointless top 10 pointless NPCs. They could be in either list. I also want to use this moment to give a shout out to Toe Jam the Terrible because he's actually one of my favorite little quest lines from Dragonflight. And he's actually the complete opposite of Toe Jam the Terrible. He's actually Toe Jam the very nice caring yeti. So a quick shout out to Toe Jam as well. And that's why all of these yetis are number seven. Six. Number six are the Volatile Rats and the Bilge Rats of Stormsong Valley, which if you couldn't guess would be part of Pointless Top 10 Rats. Groundbreaking, I know. But the reason I love these rats is because they are gigantic. These are just some of the biggest rats I think I've seen in the game. Like these are some New York sized rats. You know those videos where they show the rats like grabbing pizza and like running into the subway or something? Like these are the New York City subway rats of World of Warcraft. 
There's even crazy battles going on. There's a spider battling one of these giant rats, even though it doesn't end too well for the rat. And that's really about it. They're just really big rats. But listen, when you're talking about just a small critter in the game and you see a gigantic version of that critter, I think that's pretty worthy of being talked about. And that's why the volatile rats and bilge rats are number six. Five. And number five is Caddy Cathy. So we go from rats to cats, but Caddy Cathy is not a cat. She is a crazy cat lady with a bunch of cats in her house. There's numerous cats sleeping on chairs. There's a cat going up and down the stairs. There's a cat watching the fish tank. There's a cat on a table next to potions and a book. There's a cat on a bookshelf and she's holding a cat. And I forgot to mention that Caddy Cathy is a reference to Chatty Cathy, which was a Mattel toy back in the late 50s, early 60s. And if you talk to her, she says, it started with three cats, three cats. That seemed reasonable. But then a friend moved away and needed to rehome her cat. Then I found a sad looking stray on the street. A neighbor passed away. One had kittens. A couple just showed up. I love each and every one of them. I wouldn't trade any of them for the world. And although I do keep talking about Kathy herself, the cats are the ones that would make the pointless top 10 cats list, especially the cats that are playing with the fishing pole and the cat in the box. I like those cats a lot. And that's why the cats in this house are number five. Four. Number four are the dinosaur skeletons surrounded by roses in the veil of eternal blossoms, which would have made the pointless top 10 skeletons list. And nobody really seems to know what this is, aside from the fact that it is dinosaur skeletons surrounded by roses. But if you look in one of their mouths, it looks like there is a head inside of there, so maybe they ate somebody. And there is actually an archaeology site nearby here, so maybe it's tied into that in a way, but it's it's such a random thing to find that nobody can really piece together why it's there. One other thing I did notice though is it almost looks like the roses are a projectile flame shooting out of the dinosaur's mouth you kind of see that like it's a it's a cone like a breath of fire but it's roses you get that am i crazy or am i actually onto something here and then it looks like he's also holding some sort of rose as well so it really is a big mystery but i do think the only conclusion we can come to here is that these were rose breathing humanoid dino dragons now i don't know how they ended up here don't ask me to go that far but i think we can decipher that much at most and that's why they're number four. Three! Number three is this fountain in Suramar City, and this would have made pointless top 10 fountains because this is a phenomenal water fountain. I can't believe I missed this one. It's almost like a, a glorified sprinkler, which I guess makes it sound like it's not a great fountain, but it is a cool fountain. You've got all these little buckets shooting out water. You've got the big lotus flower in the middle also spinning around, shooting water out, and it looks like you also have water kind of overflowing on these big side things. I don't know what those are called, but you can see the water kind of dripping off of it. I actually couldn't tell at first if that was like the shadows of the water or if it was just water itself. And then there's just the blue and purple colors of the fountain and all the foliage all around. It's just, it's a very beautiful fountain. In fact, the lily pads in the water are kind in the same shape of the fountain, so maybe that's what they based it off of. But either way, I can't believe I missed this fountain, because this would have been like a top three fountain in Pointless Top 10 Fountains, and that's why, right here, it's number three. Two! Number two is the Shipwreck Cove Lighthouse, and I can't believe I missed this lighthouse, because it is actually an insane lighthouse. It is this big totem pole, and it has a light up at the top, but I really don't even see where the light is it's just there i don't know maybe there's like some sort of earth mother shamanistic magic going on but it's a very foggy area a lot of murlocs and torches and rain all around but then you have this big totem pole that almost looks like it's really jankily built there's all these platforms all around hanging off of it and then there's pieces of a ship that are also attached to it maybe the murlocs did this i have no idea and it's just somehow casting light out into the waters like i don't know i can't believe i missed this i can't believe this is an actual lighthouse i was flying on a flight path for scouting out flight masters and I was like dude is that a lighthouse and then I went and looked I was like oh my god this is this is a lighthouse how did I miss this but luckily now we can go back and look at it and appreciate it for the cool lighthouse that it is and that's why it's number two one. And number one is the Nashal the Watcher statue in Stormheim. And I think this might have actually been number one in Pointless Top 10 statues. Like, this statue is so cool and I can't believe I missed it. It is just this big, massive statue up in the mountains. But not only that, you're able to go underneath the statue into the mountains where there's a bunch of Viking ghost guys and then there's some cool mushrooms that might have even made Pointless Top 10 mushrooms. But then you can find this hidden path into the statue that's lit up by torches and you go all the way up to the top of the statue it takes a while to get up there, but once you do, you can look out and be like, dude, this is crazy. You're just looking out into the scenery and it's phenomenal. And there's even lots of little Easter egg type things. There's like skulls with swords in them and 
and cobwebs all over. It's just, it's a really cool statue, and it almost feels like a, a little mini zone in itself for the amount of stuff that's around here, so. And on top of all that, the statue itself is awesome, too. I mean, it's this big, very cool man holding an axe and a sword. I mean, it's literally named after Nashal, so it is Nashal, but it's just really cool. And so for all those reasons, that's why the Nashal the Watcher statue is number one. Hey everybody, thanks for watching this episode of Pointless Top 10. If you want, you can go look up any of the Pointless Top 10s mentioned in this video, but if you want two specific ones, there's Pointless Top 10 statues that we just mentioned, or go watch Pointless Top 10 Cats. Cats I thought was really good. Also, consider becoming a channel member or Patreon member to help support the channel. Link in the description. Okay? Okay. See ya.